Hi, my name is Sari Sudakran, and in this video, I'll try to simplify hard and soft light, but also introduce two more types of light into the mix, specular and diffuse light. Many people confuse diffuse light with soft light, but we'll get there in a bit. First, the difference between hard and soft light is pretty simple. The answer does not lie in the light, but in the shadows. When the shadows are sharp and clear-cut, the light is said to be a hard light. When the shadows are blurry, the light is said to be a soft light. The softest light gives you the most blurry shadows, and you can't make out anymore the shape of the object casting the shadow. So, is there a special light that gives you hard light and another that gives you soft light? No. In fact, any light can be hard or soft, depending on two things. One, the size of the subject, usually human beings, and the second is the distance between the light and the subject. Before we get into that, let's talk about Wi-Fi. When you set up Wi-Fi in your living room, you might not get a good reception on one corner of an upper bedroom, perhaps. But the miracle is, you still get some reception in the first place. How's that possible? That's because electromagnetic waves can bend around objects. Now, light is an electromagnetic wave. So if a ray of light hits the edge of a wall, it reflects, reflects, then passes straight on, and it actually eventually bends inwards. This is called diffraction. It's due to this property that you're able to get Wi-Fi even behind closed doors. Some gaps are good enough for the waves to bend into. Stay near the doors or windows, and the reception is better. The same thing happens when you hit a beam of light on an object. If the size of the light is the same size as the object, the rays will pass parallel and slightly bend inwards. So we borderline here. If the size of the light is smaller than the object, the rays won't bend enough, and you get well-defined shadows or hard light. When the size of the light is larger than the object, the light bends in more and the shadows get blurry and softer. If the light is much larger than the object, the shadows from both ends merge and you can no longer recognize the shape of the object. So if you want soft light, you need a large source. But that's not all. If you take this large source far away, its size relative to the object becomes small and you lose the softness. The best and most cited example of this is the sun. It's much, much larger than the earth, and if it were close by, it would engulf us in a super soft, shadowless light just before we all burst into flames. But because this humongous source is millions of miles away, it is now a point source, or smaller than the size of our head, and casts a hard shadow. When it's a cloudy day, the sun's light spreads across the clouds and the source becomes larger again. So, to keep things simple, if you want a soft light, get a large light source and bring it close. If you want hard light, get a small light source and take it further back. Now we come to the other two types of light, specular light and diffuse light. When you shine a torch against a wall, you'll see the center is brighter than the edges. It tapers off into darkness. This is a specular pattern. It's the same specular highlight you get on your forehead when you light interviews. People try to take it away with makeup and whatnot, but the easier solution is to have a diffused light. A diffused light is an even spread of light across the width of the beam. By diffusing the light, you lose the specularity and you get an even wash of light. Many people confuse diffused light with soft light. Soft light is actually just soft shadows, but you get that with a large light source close by. It doesn't mean the light will be diffused. To diffuse the light, you need to add a layer of diffusion material to spread the light evenly around so you can get an even wash of light. You'll find LED manufacturers falsely claiming their panels give you a soft light. Even branded names lie about this. Probably they don't realize they're lying. You don't get a soft light from these panels, because after all, they're only one foot by one foot. Adding a layer of diffusion to the panel will not make the light softer. What it does do is just diffuse the light a bit. So it might increase the surface of the light, and that's why you might see slightly softer shadows. 
but don't be conned. I'm going to stop here because the best way to really understand this is to practice lighting and see it for yourself. Remember, it's not just hard or soft light, but also specular and diffuse light. Four things. And knowing the difference takes you one step closer to cinematography mastery. I hope you found this brief video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you like this video and want more, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button. To get more free stuff, visit the link you'll see in the description or in my blog. Bye now.